In this video, we're going to talk about setting up basic modifiers and modifier groups. Modifiers are part of your menu, so we're going to go into All Setup, Menu Setup, and then we can go into Modifier Setup. This will bring us to the Modifier Group screen. A modifier group is basically a collection of modifiers. So for the items that we set up in the past, our sub sandwiches, we're going to give our customers the option of selecting what type of bread they have. So we're going to create a modifier group called bread. And then within there, we're going to create the modifier items. The modifier items that we have are the different types of bread that we'll be offering. So if we enter white, Okay, so now we have two different modifiers within the modifier group of bread. We need to hit display at the bottom to set up the display properties. It's a good habit to get into to set your number of columns and rows to be consistent across your entire menu so that it makes for real easy ordering. We'll just hit auto save so that it brings all of our menu items all of our um, modifiers over and then close this from here we'll close this we now have a modifier group with modifier items underneath it already set up we're gonna set up another one here real quick we'll call it sub toppings We'll add more modifier items to that and we'll do the specifics that are actually on the, the subs like lettuce, tomato, pickle. Onion. Okay. If we wanted to charge for these, we can put a price in here for um each individual item that we're going to charge for. If we are going to charge the same price against all of them, we can just come down to the bottom and hit update all. And I'll take that price and assign it to all of them. If we have sizes on our items, we need to set the number of sizes here. Remember we had a 6 inch sub and a 12 inch sub. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the price 1 for the 6 inch sub to 15 cents and the price 2 for the 12 inch sub to 25 cents. And then we'll do update all. You'll notice that there's a half price in here also. That's pretty uh, used basically for pizza ordering. We'll get into that in a later video. We need to set up the display for this. Again, we'll set our columns and rows to the same. And then we'll hit auto save to save all of them over. Now we've got a modifier group called sub toppings. We've also got a modifier group called bread. We're going to take both of these, both of these groups, and assign them to the menu category called sub sandwiches. To do that, we're going to come over here and hit this add to category button. We're going to take we're doing the bread that we're going to assign to the sub sandwich. And hit save. And then we'll do the same for the sub toppings. Add to categories, we'll select sub sandwich, save and close. If we then close out of here and go into the menu category setup, under our category sub sandwich, we can go into modifiers. And we'll see that we've already got the modifier groups called sub toppings and bread already in here. This column here is the dis this is display 
This is what shows at the top of the screen when you're taking the order. So you can certainly have the topping, the modifier group as one name and what displays as another. So if I take this sub off and make it just toppings, we'll see the difference. This column here shows us the sequence in which these modifier groups will display. I'd like to have the bread show up first, so we'll set his sequence to 1 and then the toppings to 2. If we then close this, go back to the main screen to test this. If we go into one of our subs, go into a 6 inch, we'll now see that we've got a modifier group called bread and another modifier group called toppings. Within the modifier group of bread, we've got our two different types of bread. If we select one, we'll see that it comes up over here. It also comes up over here. If we go to toppings, we can select the different toppings that we want, and we'll see that they're being added at 15 cents each. When we're done, we can hit Done Modify, and we'll see that those modifiers are associated with this item. If we do it again for a 12 inch, and go to toppings, we'll see that our prices are now coming up at 25 cents for a 12 inch sub. There are additional mod uh, videos on advanced modifier setup. To review these, please visit our website at bankcardpos.com.